Hey folks, in this video, we're gonna be covering how to create a donut chart in Tableau because, well, who doesn't like donuts? But specifically, I'm gonna be covering two types of donut charts. In the first example, we're just gonna have one measure. And in the second example, we're gonna have multiple measures because I've seen both uh, during my career. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna double click over here and type in zero. That's just gonna take an aggregation of zero. Same thing for rows, just type in zero, hit enter. It's gonna aggregate that. What that does is it gives you uh, basically this quadrant over here. So the next thing we're gonna do is identify uh, what exactly are we measuring? Are we taking, are we making a donut chart of sales or profit, whatever the case. So for this example, we're gonna do it for sales. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna change the marks uh, to be a pie chart, um, and then I'm gonna drag sales to the angle. So what I'm saying is I want uh, the sum of sales to dictate the size uh, of, of the pie chart or of the portions. Uh, and of course, I'm gonna make this bigger so it's easier to see. Um, but then all you do here, since again, we only have one measure in this first example, we can drag a category here, for example, um, to the color field. And that's going to effectively distribute or uh, make all these proportions uh, of the donut chart or the pie chart. So right now, this is a pie chart. That's the first step. Now we're going to make it into a donut chart. Uh, but actually what we're going to do is we're just going to overlay uh, a white circle on top of this to make it look like uh, a donut and I'll show you how it's done so uh, right next to rows just type another zero here hit enter that's gonna create a secondary chart and I want this to be uh, we're gonna have to set this to be um, dual axis and that way you have uh, one chart sitting on top of another essentially so right click and go to dual axis right click on the axis on the right side and then just make this uh, a synchronized axis and that's just going to ensure that it always sits on top of the other uh, squarely now what you have here the first set of marks that you have here this is the pie chart that we created uh, initially the second one here this is the second sum zero that we put here so what we're going to do again we're going to be overlaying an empty circle on top of the donut chart that we created so really i'm just going to rip out these colors over here and I'm gonna say just color this one white. So color the top circle white. Now all you have to do is because this white circle is sitting on top of the donut chart we created is just make it smaller. So I'm gonna to go to size. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and you know, you can fine tune it the way you see fit but you can go all the way from here to here and it's still gonna look uh, nice based on however you want. So in a nutshell, that's how you create a donut chart um, using just one measure. If you wanted to create the donut chart using multiple measures, uh, something you could do here, again, same thing here. So I'm just gonna type zero, I'm gonna type zero. Uh, the only difference now, uh, again, I'm gonna go into uh, the marks card here and make it a pie chart, but this time I'm gonna drag measure values to the angle over here and I'm gonna drag the measure names as soon as I could find it to the filters tab. And let's say for instance, um, that I just wanna look at, and these are fields that I, I created. So I want one measure that's called sales of furniture, and I want another measure that's considered sales of non-furniture. I'm gonna hit apply. And once I have that, I'm gonna make this chart a little bit bigger. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Now I can just drag my measure names into color and that's going to color um, the donut chart accordingly. Now, similar to what we did with the other chart, um, if you wanted to make this a donut chart instead of a pie chart, same deal. So we just type in zero over here. It takes the sum, right click, make it a dual axis, go to the right hand side here, make it a synchronized axis. Um, and then, of course, on the second one here, right, again, we have the first one, we have the second one. In the second one, uh, take out whatever's coloring it now. Just make it a white color or whatever color your sheet is. That's the color you're going to want to make it. Make the size a little bit smaller. Um, and then you have a donut chart. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy content like this. Like the video if you find it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. And of course, as always, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.